Hello, and welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Windows 8 into safe mode. Now, I had another video that I've uploaded uh, pertaining to earlier versions of Windows. Um, this one here is a little bit different. There were changes that were made to Windows 8 to help the computer or the operating system to start up faster. Um, one of the changes that they made was an earlier video that I shown you. I showed you how to use the F8 key located in the very top row of the keyboard. Now, because of Windows 8, it no longer listens for this or I should say looks for this key being pressed and this was to help improve the startup of Windows 8. Um, now some computers if it was upgraded to Windows 8 uh, you may have a, ch uh, a chance to use the F8 key but on computers that uh, were built or designed specifically for Windows 8 uh, chances are you won't be able to use that F8 key. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an alternative to get your computer into safe mode. Now the problem with Windows 8 is it requires you to have the operating system running to get into safe mode. Whereas in the earlier versions the computer had, can be started and then go into safe mode before the operating system even starts. Windows 8, it's the other way around. Now I'm going to go ahead and I've got logged in here and I'm on my desktop. Um, as you can see, I got my field of roses here. Now, here, um, if I go down here, this is the 8.0 version. You'll see the start pop up in the lower left corner. And this, of course, is my start screen. Now, with Windows 8, it's a little different. Now, to do this, uh, the first method I'm going to show you, of course, you have to have the operating system functioning. This is the only thing bad about Windows 8. Now, to do this, you'll need to move your cursor to the upper right or lower right corner of the screen, like I've done here, and you'll see the charge bar come out. Now, if necessary, you can use the Windows key on the keyboard press C at the same time and it will also bring up the charms bar. Now once it comes up choose settings. When settings comes up you'll see power down here. Click power. Now the, window, the thing will come up with an uh, option. What you need to do first on the keyboard press and hold down the shift key doesn't matter which one, just as long as you press one of them and keep it pressed. Once you press the uh, shift key, press restart or click restart. Now once the thing comes up, you'll see here it says choose an option, you can release the shift key. Now it's going to give you an option, continue, turn off your PC, or troubleshoot. This one here only comes up because I have more than one operating system on my computer. Um, the one we need under choose an option is troubleshoot. The next one we need is advanced options. Now, you'll see these settings here where you can do a restore, you can do an image recovery, uh, automatic repair, uh, you can do command prompt. What we want here is startup settings. 
here this is going to let you know everything that we can do in the startup settings go ahead and click restart and the computer will reboot into uh, another menu Okay, now as you can see here, it brought up the startup settings. And it says it press a number to choose from the options below. In most cases, you're going to need number five. This is enable safe mode with networking. What this does is it puts Windows into safe mode. Safe mode will only allow Windows to load what it requires to make it functional nothing else so if anything comes up like you updated windows you did uh, driver installations new software windows 8's acting up it's not functioning correctly this is how you can get it to go into safe mode safe mode with work networking is the best thing to use because then it allows you to still have internet access if you need to download or have some kind of um, an IT remote into your computer to fix the problems with Windows 8. Now with this screen you will not have any uh, cursor as you see here. The mouse will not work. What you do is you press the key number. In this case we want number 5. So on the keyboard you press number 5. Now, in most cases, if you require a password to log in, you'll notice here that the, everything is much larger. Uh, if necessary, you're going to see a power button here uh, if you need to restart or anything or shut down the computer. Uh, let me go ahead and type in my password. Now here you'll notice that safe mode is a lot different. It's similar to the others. You're going to have uh, Windows help and support up here. This is to let you know that your computer is now in safe mode. It's going to explain what it is and how to use it. Uh, let me go ahead and close it. You'll also notice you'll see safe mode in all four corners. And you're going to see the version of Windows that you're using. Now, down here, you'll also see that you have your network connections. This is to make sure that you are connected. Now, as you can see here, I'm not connected with mine. Um, I don't have it set up in safe mode to work with it. And, and there you go. Now I'm connected. And this is normal. You want to make sure and double check that you are connected to the network. Now I've got two connections, and that's uh, some other some other time. That uh, this is my primary. You want to make sure that you are connected. Now I do have uh, my wire, my network connection, and I can start Internet Explorer and as you can see it brings up the internet now now that is one way to get uh, Internet Explorer working or nice Windows 8 into safe mode now safe mode will only load what it requires to make it functional so you can troubleshoot the problem download or do remote sessions if you need to to get your computer Windows 8 working again 
Now, to get out of Windows uh, Safe Mode, um, all you need to do is go into uh, have the computer restart. Now, in some cases, which I'm going to go ahead and show you here, because each computer is different and it depends on Windows 8 on how it was designed. Here, click search. Now you're going to have all your apps appear. Make sure the apps is list is highlighted. In the search box, type msconfig. And you'll see it appear over here. It's M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. And you'll see it. And then click on it. As you can, you'll see this uh, MS Config System, uh, the System Configuration Utility. Click Boot, and make sure that the Safe Mode Boot it doesn't have a check mark. If it does, remove it. Now, then you click Apply, and then choose OK. Now this one doesn't have it, so I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer. Choose power, restart. Another way that you can get your computer into safe mode, if it's necessary, is you can use a system configuration utility that I showed earlier. Now, if you're having trouble getting into safe mode, Using the previous uh, function, uh, all you have to do is bring out your charms bar, what you see here, by going to the top right or the lower right to get the charms bar come up. You can also press the Windows logo key on the keyboard and then press C at the same time. That will also bring up the charms bar. Once it comes up, click the top icon for the search. Now you're going to notice all your apps are going to appear. Make sure the apps over here is highlighted because this is what we're looking for. Make sure your cursor is in the search box. Type msconfig c-o-n-f-i-g Now, as you type, you'll notice that it appears over here. This is the program we want. Click it. System uh, configuration now appears. Click boot. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see boot options. Choose safe boot. And you'll want to have network. Uh, selected because this allows you to go into safe mode with networking capabilities. Now this up here just makes sure that your operating system is highlighted. You should only see one. Now in this case I have three. That's why you see three different ones listed. Now once you select safe boot and network choose apply, choose OK, and then the message will show up. Click restart. Now you just have to log in. Notice that the uh, icons and stuff are bigger and here you go. Now you're in uh, safe mode. You'll see your, uh, your icon come up, or your window for help and support. And then you'll check down here. You'll notice that you have your networks. If you need to, select the network you need to connect to, and then connect. And then you're connected to your network. And that's it. This is how you can get in a safe mode. Uh, I've shown you two ways that you can do it. 
Now, if you used uh, the shift restart like I did the first time, then you don't you should you can check MS config to make sure safe boot is not checked. Now again, usually if you did the shift restart, it doesn't check it. It's the same thing as pressing F8. Now if you use the system configuration like I just did to go into safe mode, then you want to go back and make sure that you remove that check mark. Again, we're here at the search. Go to MS config. You'll see it appear in the left. It's going to start up, go to boot, and see, notice that it says safe boot is still checked. So you want to remove it. Make sure this is removed so you don't go back into safe mode. Choose apply. Choose OK. And then this message box will appear. And when you're ready to restart, click Restart. Now it's going to reboot back to normal. Type in your password if required. And there you go. Now you're back in a normal mode with hopefully your computer is repaired. And that is all there is to Windows 8. Now as you can see, it's a little different. Um, you may have some luck using the F8 key uh, as I've shown in a, a previous video to get uh, other windows to go into safe mode. Uh, what I've showed here is an alternative to get your computer into safe mode. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.